Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Level Up, where we help you build and grow your dream practice and work with the clients you love. We are Kate and Katie of the Private Practice Startup, and today's question comes from Tanya Polidor. Tanya asks us, what's the most difficult part of launching a private practice? Great question. Can't wait to dive in. Really good question. But first, let's thank Therapy Notes for their sponsorship of the series. If you guys are in need of an awesome EHR plus telehealth platform, definitely check them out and use code PPS, as in private practice startup, for your first two months for free. Just go to therapynotes.com. You know, it's funny, as, as we get started to answer this question, this is so random, Kate, I'm looking at you and your curls lovely hide this, the headphones behind. Yes, the, the I can't headphones. even tell, random. <laughs> Looks anyway. like I have a little halo over my head here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just trying to like light, lighten the mood. Things have been serious. Hashtag squirrel. In, in our world, <laughs> that was a squirrel. So let's talk about the most difficult thing about launching a private practice. Wow, um, really great question. And I don't know that there's one most difficult thing. I would say becoming a business owner is a huge learning curve. Um, you're, you're going from a place of direct service, usually in an agency organization, um, that kind of tells you what you need to do, when you need to get things done. So as you transition into launching a private practice or any business for that matter, is not only are you providing the direct service, but now you're wearing all these new hats that you've never experienced before, right? Like your, your own management, you have to have some discipline, right? Um, you are also looking at accounting legal stuff when you talk about incorporation now you're a marketing person and this is a lot of stuff to learn um, initially for sure as you begin to launch a business it's a lot and it's also overwhelming because it can be hard to know what is the most important thing to work on to help move the needle forward because you when you have all those hats and you're involved in all those facets of the business and typically there's a, a drive and a desire to want to you know, start growing the business with a quickness, um, there can be a lot of anxiety that comes with that because there's just so many unknowns. And when you're trying to do too many things, multitasking and don't really have a clear direction and clear path, it can be really overwhelming and almost like analysis paralysis mode where, you're, where you can get way too overwhelmed. Uh, so that's why we recommend really taking a step back and doing some planning on the business first. Um, like Katie said, getting into the world of business is a, a huge endeavor in terms of your relationship with yourself. There's a lot of mindset issues that come up. There's a lot of challenges that you've got to navigate both personally and professionally. And it really does help to have a plan, um, to have a step-by-step -step system so that you're not spinning your wheels or like we say, throwing spaghetti at the wall, trying to see what sticks. You're really able to take every intentional step to the next step to help move the needle forward so that you don't have to you know, spend years and years trying to get your business off of the ground because that is exhausting. And both Katie and I did that way back in the day when we first started in private practice over a decade ago. Uh, we made a ton of mistakes because we didn't really have that clear plan and there weren't a ton of practice building resources like there are now. So in answer to your question, it's hard to pinpoint the most challenging aspect because there are so many. So I think for me, I'd say not having a plan would be the most challenging thing of all. Once you have that, that plan for yourself, it really makes the process more streamlined and uh, it's like one step at a time, you can keep helping move the, the needle forward. And I think one of the most challenging thing is not getting started, right? Like there, there needs to be some planning, True. but because this is a complete new endeavor for you, it's never going to be perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a constant journey throughout and not taking somewhat of a leap of faith and jumping in. You know, I know that for me and probably for most humans is, you know, when our back is really pushed up against the wall is that's really when we succeed, when we're kind of at the edge of the pool, dipping our toe in, maybe, maybe not. But if someone pushes us, we're in. All right, and now we just have to figure out how to swim. So there is that kind of balance of planning, risk assessment, but also just taking a dive in and, and getting started and really working with a coach or a mentor. And you'll find that you have many coaches and mentors throughout your journey in business and really allowing them to guide you and be coachable. You're totally going to fast track yourself. And also a good coach is going to be able to help you identify those confidence blocks. Um, when imposter syndrome comes up, when you're afraid, when you're worried, when you're scared, they're going to help lead you through that. And even as coaches ourselves, we go through those things too, right? And we get coaching to move forward. So it never stops. The beauty of being in business, like Kate had said, is 
um, to me, it's a mirror, right? And you get to address all of you, um, all you get to own all of your rewards and all of the consequences that you've created in your business and then keep moving through. Um, so it's really a beautiful process. So we really look forward to hearing your practice journey. Um, and we hope that this question has helped um, or our answer to this question has helped that I'm sure is actually helping many. Anything else you want to add, Kate? No, it was a great question. And for anybody else who wants to have their questions answered in our Level Up series, look for the Ask Us post in our Facebook group on Tuesdays, and we will make sure to get that answered. And in the meantime, stay inspired, and you guys got this. You guys got this. Take care.